garage time today. I got a lot of work to do. This is where I want to start today. What I'd like is to get rid of this temporary shelf that I put in and get it ready for the CNC to live here. And I also have a new power supply for the laser cutter to fix its problems and lots and lots and lots of stuff to do. Not sure where we're going to get to. It's time to work in the garage because it's not minus 20 for a change. projects are made possible in part by PCBWay.com. They support this channel with high quality PCBs and electronics at a great price. If you're into building things, you should check them out for your next electronics project. All right. Well, that's coming along pretty good for just using scrap wood that my grandfather used probably 50 years ago, and I'm reusing it again at my home. Pretty cool. Uh, really happy about that. I, I know it doesn't look like much. And uh, this whole garage doesn't look like much, but it's mine and it gives me a place to work and I'm really, really happy about it. Uh, this will be good. I'm not sure whether this bin is going to live here. This has got my acrylic pieces from my local glass shop that I use for all my acrylic cases and stuff and then clean uh, plywood all for the laser cutter. And then this is all dollar store stock that's also for the laser cutter. And these are all the bits for the lathe, which we haven't even got to yet. Alrighty, pretty happy with how this came along. Got some coolant picked up for the laser cutter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the reservoir up because it was always a little bit low. This is the reservoir I run, just five gallon bucket with a battery warmer around the outside and an aquarium heater in it. And I run it on a smart outlet so I can turn it on from in the house So before I come out. This stuff, th there's no goobers in there. It didn't grow anything. So that worked boy way better than the propylene glycol did. Live and learn. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that. Yeah, we've got a little de less desk of Lady Ada and uh, we're in shape. So this is where the CNC is going to go. We're getting there. That is starting to look like something. I just have to figure out something for the laptop. Um, maybe that shelf will be fine, but I think another shelf down below just above the CNC will be good. I should work out just perfect. And uh, I thought I'd show you this. This is two year old coolant. Check that out. That is the RV antifreeze, and I didn't even seal the top very well. No goobers, no nothing, nothing growing, no anaerobic or bacteria or anything growing in it. It's working perfectly. Um, battery warmer and then the aquarium pump in there, or aquarium heater in there uh, that, uh, that warms it up so that I don't shock the tube with uh, minus 20 degree <laughs> coolant. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna top that up. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna run with that. Gotta test the laser cutter. I also wanna get these pieces cut before I take a chance changing that power supply, just in case something bad happens. And I can't recover it uh, anytime soon. I want these parts. This is a base for the bus pirate that you've already seen. Um, this is gonna keep it from shorting out on my desk. Should be pretty cool. Really neat little design, all nested together, and uh, should be all set. This is why I've got to change this power supply right here. We're at max power, pretty much 18 milliamps, but we're at 70%. Um, this is a new controller and this varies. A couple seconds ago it just conked out and destroyed a part on me uh, because it just stops. It, just, it is what it is. So when it stops, the laser just quits firing and you can hear the power supply line stop. So she's, uh, she's cooked, but uh, everything's working otherwise. We're cutting through this time, so I'm gonna get the cases I need. Hey Yogi, this is how things come out of the K40. They just pop right out of there. It's only the adhesive, the protection holding them in place and we're good to go. Pretty cool. Handy thing having a laser cutter. There's something pretty cool about this. Oh, I'm really happy with how this has kind of turned out and the way I feel when I'm in here. Something immensely satisfying about being able to pick production quality parts out of my own laser cutter, even though it's just a cheap cheap, cheap unit, but it works. I 
for half the battle is figuring out how to maximize the yield from any one piece of acrylic. <laughs> I'm getting pretty good at it, but uh, definitely could be better. This is the front cover for the Raspberry Pi Zero project coming up on the channel. That's going to be a fun one. That is that for today. That is the end cover for our Raspberry Pi case that'll act as oh, act as a vent. How cool is that? Just blows me away every time I get to use tools like this at home and these things are within reach for hobbyists now. Remember this thing was under $500 all in. Um, significantly under so pretty cool here's our pieces ready to go not bad for an afternoon just play time and we've got lots of acrylic left over our bench is set up and i'm happy with where we're leaving off i'm really really pleased with this it's coming along okay in from the garage and i'm super super pleased with how this came out one thing trap for new players this is the bus pirate and those are the cases that uh, i made what happens is the svgs can be different dimensions depending on the program that generates them this is a, a pretty much a thing of the past in 3d printing but still a problem in laser cutting and i picked the wrong program uh, the wrong dimensions for these svgs and they came out too small so uh live and learn it is what it is uh, i should have taken this out to the garage and done a quick engrave and check to make sure but they looked right to me out there but that's in a different building on a plus note though the jtagulator is just fine this is a perfect board other way and it should work just fine that's the bottom and then our top and yep no issues that will go right on there and we can access our connections and yeah Pretty cool. That'll protect it so that we don't short out when we're doing some hardware hacking. Awesome. Gotta go redo these, but pretty cool. A few standoffs and our acrylic, and that's what we're left with. Is that not super cool or what? A little bit of uh, dodgy work along the edge there just because I've been having trouble with that laser transformer and I had to slow down my cut just in case it gave out and yeah, overpowered a little bit. Uh, minor thing. This is a perfect fit. Uh, I found this design online. I didn't have to make it. I'm super happy with it. Just a few standoffs, nylon standoffs, and we're away to the races. So we can put our probes down through. Our LED even protrudes through. We can access the reset, and we're good to go. Time to do some hardware hacking.